Hi everyone, kumusta kayo? My name is Jan Angelo. Welcome to my channel and mag-uusap na naman tayo about skincare, skincare, and skincare. So, make sure to keep watching. So, ang pag-uusapan natin for this video is all about how to use micellar water. Now, if matagal na kayong nanonood sa channel ko, you guys already know na personally, hindi talaga ako masyadong mahilig gumamit ng micellar water, mainly because I love to use oil cleansers or balm cleansers more. Pero of course, more of personal preference ko yun. And hindi rin naman natin madedenay na marami at marami pa rin talagang gumagamit ng micellar water sa skincare community. And in fairness naman, on its own, hindi naman masama gumamit ng micellar water. As long as, ginagamit mo siya the right way. So in this video, we will be exploring how to use micellar water properly if yun yung gusto nyong gamitin sa routine ninyo and how to use it in a way na mababa yung chances na ma-irritate yung skin ninyo from it. Also, a small portion of this video is in partnership with Everbilena pero marami pa tayong ibang mga products and brands na pag-uusapan in this video. And regardless kung anong gusto nyong gamitin na micellar water, this video applies to micellar water products in general. So that being said, let us begin. Alright, so let's start off with our very first piece of advice for micellar water and actually very, very important because this can make or break yung effect ng micellar water sa skin nyo. And this is tip number one, choose alcohol-free micellar water. Now, just to clarify first, guys, alcohol is not always bad sa skincare. As in, just because may meron kayong makitang alcohol sa ingredients list, not necessarily na bad product na siya. Ito always depend kung anong klaseng alcohol ba yung ginamit, paano siya ginamit sa formula at para sa ang purpose ba. However guys, sa context kasi ng mga micellar water, yung mga drying alcohols like for example, alcohol denatured, SD alcohol, ethanol, isopropyl alcohol, or even yung just plain alcohol dun sa ingredients list na mataas siyang nakalist doon, ang kailangan yung malaman guys is this is very very unnecessary sa mga micellar water and it can even be harmful sa skin ninyo. And it really has no long-term benefit sa skin ninyo. In fact, long-term siya na damage because una, constantly kang nagsiswipe at nagsiswipe ng product sa skin mo which can actually be irritating. Tapos yung irarab mo pa is an alcohol-based product. So guys, sobrang recipe yon for irritation on your skin in which kung may iba ka pang mga skin issues na ina-address, ayaw mong madagdagan pa yun ng irritation kasi lalong mas madedelay yung pag-improve ng skin problem ninyo. Na remember guys, gone are the days na kailangan yung gumamit ng alcohol-based na product on your face para luminous siya. Kasi guys, technology is evolving and so is of course skincare and you can cleanse your skin while still maintaining your skin barrier. And if you guys need a recommendation for a gentle micellar water na very skin barrier friendly talaga, ako personally, ito talaga yung pinaka bare bones na micellar water na alam ko. Very straightforward lang siya and very easy to find sa mga Watson and this is actually Simple's Micellar Water. Na actually, itong gamit ko is already a new variant of yung original nila na version kasi nung bumili ako, out of stock sila ng original. So, ito lang yung meron. So, ito na yung kinuha ko. And this one, I think, is actually yung parang oily skin na variant nila. I think because meron tong zinc PCA. Pero yung ginagamit ko talaga ever since before was yung color green and hiyang na hiyang ako dun. As someone who has oily skin, okay din naman to pero yung green kasi kahit oily skin ka naman, okay din yun. And especially if sensitive yung skin mo, gentle din ka kasi talaga yung formulation nila doon. So, bagay na bagay siya for that. Kasi naalala ko, ito yung mga first few brands of micellar water na nagamit ko. Yung very first na ginamit ko talaga is yung Bioderma. Feel ko yung iba sa inyo alam nyo na yun. Pero, ang mahal kasi talaga noon So, naganap ako ng parang mas sustainable or mas mura na alternative or mas cost-friendly. So, if I'm not mistaken, this one, this is around 300 pesos price range na. And ganito na siya kalaki. I think this is 400 ml. And saktong-sakto ang discussion natin on protecting our skin barrier as we move on to tip number two for micellar waters, look for soothing and hydrating ingredients. Now, for this one, guys, actually, may hirapan kayong hindi masundan ito because ito ang priority ng maraming mga micellar water brands ngayon. Now, yes, maraming mga micellar water ngayon na gumagamit ng mga gentle cleansing agents, but no matter how gentle they are, prone pa rin sila sa paggamit ng mali or even ma-overuse sila sa skin. Which is why brands are adding hydrating and or moisturizing ingredients and even soothing ingredients para ma-avoid or even ma offset yung pag-irritate ng skin kapag medyo malito na gagamit. So, when you're looking for micellar water products, make sure to look for those na medyo mas packed with hydrating ingredients. Now, some very popular hydrating ingredients in skincare or in micellar waters, we have glycerin, we have panthenol, hyaluronic acid. Sure naman ako mga 90% of the time, meron yung isa sa mga ingredients na yon. But of course, it's even a bigger plus if meron silang mga calming or soothing ingredients. Like for example, from soothing plant extracts like centella asiatica, 
Exotica or Sika. Of course, you also have aloe vera, licorice root, chamomile, green tea, or even yung mga non-plant na soothing ingredients like for example, alantoin, betaine, adenosine. And actually guys, mas prefer ko yung mga non-plant because usually two-in-one yung effect nila. Like aside from being soothing sa skin, meron din yung iba sa kanila na parang hydrating effect sa skin. But either way, both are very good additions to your micellar water. So just for more examples of products na mabilis lang mahanap sa Watsons and usually merong stock, we have three more here that I've already tested. So nahin natin tong micellar water ni Everbilena Plus. So this one actually has hyaluronic acid, adenosine, and collagen, all of which are very hydrating sa skin. So isa-isayin natin yung mga ingredients. So like I said a while ago, yung hyaluronic acid, very very popular na hydrating ingredient. Yan, adenosine also has some anti-inflammatory properties. So also another welcome addition sa mga micellar water. And also collagen, while hindi na dadagdagan yung collagen ng skin natin with these products, collagen in skincare na pinapahid is actually an excellent way to hydrate the skin. So again, yun naman yung goal niya rito. So very welcome addition din siya. Now the other micellar water that I've tried is this one from Hello Glow. This one has Centella Asiatica, Licorice Root, Chamomile, and Rosemary. All of which are plant extracts na soothing sa skin natin. And actually, very common na combination yun of plant extracts sa mga skincare products kasi talaga, they work well together in soothing the skin. And lastly, itong micellar tonic ni Caroline Skin has Centella Asiatica and even Salicylic Acid. Which yes, in high amounts, Salicylic Acid can be drying sa skin as a side effect. But in smaller amounts, gaya nang nilagay nila rito, it does have some anti-inflammatory properties which means very beneficial pa rin naman siya in this formulation. And actually, very interesting tong product na to ni Caroline kasi in a way, parang salicylic acid or BHA cleanser na rin siya na micellar water version. So for those na mahilig mag-micellar water na medyo yung issue ninyo is yung excess oil ng skin ninyo or medyo meron kayong mga red marks sa skin that you want to calm down, I think this might be a good addition sa routine ninyo especially if lagi kayong gumagamit ng micellar water. So yung kanina, yung simple and yung bioderma, good sila for just a regular micellar water if you just want to get a very straightforward na micellar water which is great especially if you have sensitive skin. But for these ones, mas marirecommend ko to for those na number one, medyo tolerated yun naman yung mga regular micellar water na merong fragrance. And number two, if gusto nyo ng mga added benefits sa micellar water ninyo. And if umabot kayo sa point na to, baka maraming curious sa inyo kung bakit medyo lenient na ako on fragrance in products like these. And the reason is because like regular cleansers na binabanlaw guys, hindi naman big issue sa akin masyado ang fragrance kapag binabanlaw mo naman yung micellar water. And that is actually also our next tip and a tip that might come as a shock sa iba. It's tip number three, if you can, rinse off the product. Now, yes, if you're going to be technical about it, oo, hindi mo naman kailangan talagang ibanlaw yung micellar water. Based naman kasi talaga sa origin ng micellar water, it was created in France for those na exposed sa mga hard water or yung water na masyadong maraming minerals. And in the context of the Philippines, meron pa rin sa iilang mga parts ng Pilipinas na medyo hard water pa rin yung ginagamit nila. And yung hard water kasi guys, especially if very sensitive yung skin, it could be a cause of irritation. And yes, dahil nga gentle cleansing agents yung nilagay nila, kahit hindi mo siya ibanlaw, lesser chances na mai-irritate yung skin mo from that. Pero gaya nga nang sabi natin guys, no matter kung kung gaano pa ka-gentle yung cleansing agent na gamit ninyo, it is still a cleansing agent at the end of the day. And kahit maliit na chance siya, there is still a chance na mai-irritate yung skin nyo from it. And para sa akin lang guys, in my opinion, kung meron namang malapit na lababo sa inyo and hindi naman nai-irritate yung skin ninyo sa tubig ng lababo ninyo, and kung kaya nyo naman siyang ibanlaw, then why not, di ba? Kesa sa i-risk ninyo yung chance na may irritate pa yung skin ninyo, which is again, pag nangyari yun, parang unnecessary na hassle siya. Kasi in the first place, kung binanlaw mo na lang yung micellar water mo, then na-avoid na sana siya from happening. Alright, so at this point, baka meron ng ibang mga nalinawan, pero baka may iba pang lalong na-confuse dahil dito. And probably, yung question siguro na iniisip ng iba is, so, face wash ba muna, and then hilamos, and then micellar water, and then hilamos ulit? So, i-clarify natin yan with our next tip, which is to follow your micellar water with a face wash. So yes, guys, given the cleansers or the face washes na meron natin ngayon sa skincare, gone are the days na meron pang matitirang residue sa mukha natin after natin mag-face wash. So, sa mga nasanay dyan sa lumang order ng skincare na cleanser and then mag-swipe ka ng toner using a cotton pad para makuha yung residue, hindi nyo na yun kailangan gawin ngayon. I mean, kung gusto nyo pa rin siya gawin, fine, you do you, pero hindi na siya kailangan na ganong order. Nowadays kasi guys, it makes more sense to use micellar water as a first step para lang ma-remove yung top layer na nasa skin mo. So, for example, yung mga makeup or heavy sunscreen,
sunscreens kasi super magaling talaga siya magtanggal ng mga ganitong products. And then after mo siya matanggal with micellar water, dun mo siya ipo-follow up with a regular face wash para mas makuha niya talaga yung mga residue ng micellar water. So ayun na siya guys, just four simple tips on how to properly choose and use a micellar water. Now remember, optional lang ang micellar water sa isang skincare routine pero if mahilig talaga kayong gumamit nito, wala rin namang masama as long as you use it the right way. And I hope na with this video, naklaruhan kayo on how to do exactly that. And if you have any more follow-up questions about this, do let me know in the comments below. And I, along with the very helpful skincare community, will try to help you out. Also, if you found this video informative, please do leave me a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye!